I've been around the political process for a long time. Uh, my father was elected to the Senate in 1962 when I was seven years old. And it's an entirely different Congress uh, that today than it was back in his day. Uh, a lot more confrontational, a lot more polarized. You don't have the personal relationships. One of my favorite stories my father tells is in his first re-election, my father of course was a Democrat, the Republican leader, a man named Everett Dirksen, came up to him on the floor of the United States Senate and asked what he could do to help with his re-election. Now this would never happen today, but back then my point is that relationships mattered more than party or ideology, and at the end of the day people knew that they were Americans first, not members of a political party or adherence to an ideology. People tend to forget that America itself is the result of a compromise. We wouldn't have a nation if the uh, large states and the small states, the agrarian states and the industrial states hadn't uh, found common ground together. And it required a lot of give and take. Today, uh, too many Americans define themselves by uh, the differences that exist rather than the common ground that exists. What can we do? Have vigorous debate. Do more listening, maybe a little less shouting. And remember that no one's right 100% of the time. I mean, you know, you can look at all the great founding fathers and mothers of this country most of them were willing to engage in principled compromises when they felt that it was good, good for the nation. We need more of that today. But today it seems to be all gridlock, all fighting, all the time. That's not serving the country very well. One of my favorite sayings, I love this, there was a civil rights leader who once said, uh, we may have a, arrived on these shores in different ships, but we're all in the same boat now. About time we remembered that and started behaving that way. There are many issues that uh, face the country right now. If we're not producing good jobs and growing businesses, then the government doesn't have the revenue to pay for education and health care, protecting the environment, everything else. So we need to think very carefully about what can we do quicker, better, uh, less expensively than anybody else. My own view is that it's going to involve increased levels of innovation, and that means that education is at a premium, and investment in research and development. Today, we have citizens who all too often don't listen to one another. The more forums we can have like this one, where people hear different thoughts, listen to one another, that really is what is going to enable us to find common ground as Americans. America is definitely in need of a campaign for conversation. Because we have a lot, way too much heat and not enough light, we've got way too much shouting, not enough listening, and above all, we don't have enough people sitting down together to try and figure out how we can move this country forward to build a better future. That's what this conversation is all about.